This is problem number 83 of the 2012 AP Calculus exam. The graph gives the velocity v in feet per seconds of a car for the interval from time t greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 8, where t is the time in seconds. Of the following, which is the best estimate of the distance traveled by the car from the time t equals 0 until the car comes to a complete stop? And so when we think about um, this rate, this velocity, feet per second, that's how fast the car is going. And that's our vertical axis, V of T. The horizontal axis is the time. And we've got eight seconds. So we're trying to find out how far has this car gone uh, during these eight seconds. And so this is the best estimate of the distance. And so we're, we're basically looking at the area under the curve. And so... As I think about that graph, I'm thinking maybe left Riemann sums and right Riemann sums would work nicely here to give an estimate. So I'm going to start out with a break point at the time t equals 4. That's about half of the time. And I'm going to look at this set of intervals, or sub-intervals, if you will. And I'm going to use right Riemann sums. And then on the time after four seconds, I'm going to use left Riemann sums. And I'm thinking, if I put those two answers together, that would give me a pretty good estimate of this distance that has been traveled. So I'm thinking, let's start out in this first point. That's really close to the 50. It hasn't changed much. So 50 times 1, and that's my time frame. So the rate is uh, rate times time for our distance. And so 50 times 1 would be approximately 50. Hasn't changed much. So I'm really close right here to the actual function. Now at the next part, I'm about, oh, maybe halfway something like maybe 45. I could even go up a little higher. It might be closer to the 50 than that. But I'll do 45. 45 times 1, again, would be 45. The next one would be at 40. That's this part. So I'll use the estimate for 40 times 1 is 40. And then I'm somewhere about 25 for this next one. And so that's giving me these four rectangles. Now the next rectangle will also have a time of 1 and a height of approximately 25. I probably should put that in red. Let's do that. So that would be 25 as well. The next one, I'm looking at that's maybe about 15. It's halfway between uh, 10 and 20, maybe a little lower. So 15. And then I've got 10 and then the last one is probably about half of that. It's probably about five. So again, we're looking for an estimate. All right, so let's just add some of these. We can do this in our head. This is 50. And these three together would give me 30. And then I've got 85. And I've got 50. Now 50 and 50 is 100. 85 and 30 is approximately uh, 115, which would give me about 215, which is really close to 210. So that's what I'm looking at is for an estimate is being about 210. And again, this is just uh, an estimate of the distance traveled. And I just used left and right Riemann sums. I hope that helps.